boobies. Hey guys, and welcome to the final part of Santa's Workshop build. We have been going full steam ahead. As you can see, Santa's house is looking pretty, pretty beast mode right now. Very nice. I do love it. Let me just give you a tour through here and show you some of the details. I haven't filled the house totally, of course. I'm not really one for interior design. Something I really need to improve on. Okay, so if you can come in here, this is kind of like the lounge area. This could do, do with some sofas, of course, and stuff like that. I've kind of left it bare so we can just walk through it for now. We've got the stove. Stove, yeah, maybe. Furnace, this is the kitchen area. Some books around the stairs. Santa's special brew. He likes to drink this. Hmm, it might be brand homemade brandy by Santa's standard anyway. And this is the bedroom here. Very minimal. We could put like a partition wall here and, uh, you know, just put loads of other stuff in here, of course. But this is about the building rather than the actual interior design. Maybe in some future projects I'll, you know, start going into interior. But projects like this do take some time. And I want to get this up for Christmas time, of course. It would just be the worst thing ever to put a video like this up in January. Oh my gosh, that would be terrible. Okay, the workshop has been finished. The workstations for the staff, the viewing platform for the managers, hand wash basins here, security cameras. I've actually, these are inspired by Generic B, but I put the, the Eye of Ender at the front here. Security camera watching over everyone, making sure they're doing their, they're doing their work. Uh, this is the manager's area, the laptop here, making sure everyone is working. <clears throat> making sure all the deliveries are going to be done for Christmas. This is the toy stands. As you can see, there's three um, platforms here for making toys, or free desks. And this is for making clothing. And this one here is making the PlayStation 4s and the Xbox Ones. <laughs> and just how, yeah, this is where all the, the, the toys are going to be sent for delivery. There's Thomas's one here. There's Petter. Ralph. James, Andrew, Johnny, Lars, Maria, Thomas. <laughs> so, you know, I put a couple of names on there. I actually know those people. So if they're watching this video, <laughs> that's probably going to be quite funny. Okay, so today we need to work on Santa's sledge, of course. And earlier on, in one of the earlier episodes, I mentioned about doing a Batcave-style Santa um, sort of awesomeness so we're gonna do that of course I'm gonna do it in this hill by here the sledge is gonna be outside there at the cave obviously but there's gonna be like a back cave style entrance here <clears throat> I actually might put the sledge in mid-air and put some cobwebs coming from behind it I think that would be pretty cool okay so I need a jump cut now guys I'm gonna clear this area I'm gonna make a nice hole in this mountain so I'll be back in just a moment hold the almighty cave of Santa's malicious party of conservatives <laughs> oh, okay we're back guys what the hell have I been talking about okay so we want to get some half slabs <laughs> I really do come up with some weird stuff when I for like intros and like transitions. Oh my gosh. Okay, so what we want to do is have a little slide over. <laughs> I'm still laughing at that stupid thing I just said. What the hell? The British party of crazy fools. <laughs> Alright, whatever. I'm not really into politics, really. <laughs> okay, so I want to put like an overhang here. Let's get rid of that. It's going to be coming at an angle. Don't really build at angles really in Minecraft, but I think this is going to cut it. And this is going to have to come out quite far. So where would the center point be? This is like the center diagonal piece, I presume. So we need to work on that. <clears throat> I want it to come out so there's like a runway, because, you know, we need these reindeers to like get up to 78 miles per hour I think that's what it is is that a back to the future reference when they have to get the DeLorean to do like sense is it 78 miles per hour before it can transition into like time travel 78 or 84 I don't know I should ask my girlfriend she's big on there uh, on back to the future she likes that she likes the uh, let's get rid of that she likes the uh, the fashion that came with America at that time, I guess, is kind of pretty cool. 
really, really cool. There we kind of go. Okay, so the cave has been dug. I think we should get some... Let's get some cobble. I want to put an arch on here, of course. It's got to be weird putting an arch on this because... Well, purely because it's at an angle, but we'll... We'll soon find out what it's like. I want to put some hanging stone. We actually broke into a real cave behind here too. Totally coincidental. So I went ahead and put some glowstone around here just to illuminate the place a little bit. Uh, just in case you guys want to download this map. Let's do... Let's do something like that. And keep it... Going. Let's just do one more. This is a mess of stairs at the moment, but we'll soon fix that. That can go. Patch that in here. I can hear a pig too. That's not too bad. We need to put a standard piece of stone there. There's an interesting pattern forming right by there. Let's just do that. That needs to go here. Let's take that. Place that. That is kind of interesting. That looks... It's okay. It does the trick. Maybe we'll come back to that and do this in just a moment. Okay, so I need to flatline this in here. Um, I was thinking about integrating the cave system into this map so we could possibly have a door leading off. You know, Santa Claus needs to kit up with his... Um, his bat Santa outfit before he goes off on the 24th of December to deliver these epic goodies. Um, have you? Oh, I don't. I don't even know if I should start this conversation. Who believes in Santa Claus? And it's probably not a good thing for me to say. I don't believe in him on my videos. Just in case there's younger people watching, I don't know what to say about that. I talk about I talk about adult things quite often, and when it comes to talking about Santa Claus, they say it's kind of taboo to tell someone who actually believes in Santa Claus that Santa Claus doesn't really exist. That's the kind of kind of general reception I get. So I don't know if whether to share my own thoughts on whether I believe Santa Claus actually exists or not, because there might be younger people actually watching my channel, and I don't want to destroy those dreams. But I probably already have now. Trying to justify the fact that I don't really want to acknowledge the fact that I don't believe in Santa Claus on my channel because I'm 27 year old man. <laughs> oh, let's just go with it. Yeah. So um. When I was younger, like really young, I mean like, when I discovered that Santa Claus doesn't really exist, um, just before that, because I was a gamer, I've always been a gamer by the way, I, I'm a console player that's been converted to um, PC initially, because it's just better graphics, better performance, multitasking like a boss you can talk to your friends at the same time but you could do that on Xbox Live of course you can <clears throat> but you could talk to people who are actually not playing games as well at the same time you can actually talk to people who are just browsing YouTube but you could do that on Xbox Live too of course you can but you can talk to people who are doing Photoshop at the same time and loads of other things so PC co just covers everything like that <laughs> Okay, back to my story. When I was growing up, though, and I believed in Santa, this wasn't for long that I actually did believe in Santa Claus, though. This is kind of cool. Yeah, we'll definitely put some stairwell going up here. I always used to think to myself, Santa Claus is in the wilderness. He's got a bunch of gnomes working for him. Do you call them gnomes? Or oh, whatever. How are these guys going the technology to make these awesome Sega Dreamcasts and... <clears throat> Sega Mega Drives and Nintendo 64s, how are they doing that? Because they're in the wilderness. Stereotypically, when you see illustrations of Santa's workshop, there's a bunch of like... There's a bunch of workers. And um... Let's just go down there. Oh, let's do... Let's double that. There's a bunch of workers and they're making stuff out of wood, like wooden toys and like Russian style. Russian style, uh, like 
like Russian dolls and you know and I'm like but how can they make these epic consoles with pieces of wood you know they live out in like nowhere how can they make consoles out of wood <laughs> and then it kind of become obvious no um, Sega actually have contracts and manufacturers to make these things so yeah that's nice this tree needs to go I'll grab the wood though, so we need to do that. Nice bit of supportage going on here. Um, because this is the last episode too, guys, make sure you check the link out in the description. You will be able to download this and host it on your own server and have a Christmas jolly time. Or you can actually just download it and explore the map um, in single player and, you know, obviously give me some feedback based on my uh, building stance and skills. <clears throat> on the VisoCraft server, you've probably seen a few episodes on my channel by now. Um, I'm working on quite a large build there, so a lot of feedback on those videos would be really appreciated. So if you ever want to check out, check out some legitimate Minecraft in action, make sure you go over to my channel if you haven't seen them and just look for the VisoCraft. Okay, this should be that and that. That's cool, I like it. That's cool, nice little runway. Okay, so let's try and give this room a little bit more structure. Um, I want another, there's a cave down here. Let's turn this into another access point. I'm not actually going to go into these caves and do detail here. Um, I just want it to look kind of cool for this place. We need, actually we'll just do this, whoops, and then possibly another one here. <clears throat> so I'll put a door here in, in, in time, so this is where the goods are going to be delivered to Santa's sledge. I come up with this co cool idea on how to like make gifts and stuff like that. You put a bunch of random chests down like so. Put one in the floor. Uh, let's put one under here. Same here. So this chest is like on the walls. These are all gifts that are gonna go. Um, I got some birch wood and I got myself a sign. <clears throat> and I put the birch wood down and then I put like a sign on it too to make it look like a gift. You can get some red wool too, which I think is nice. Red wool. And then these can be gifts too, so you put a sign on here, you can put someone's name on there, let's put Betsy on it. <laughs> what? There we go. Um, Jimmy! Ding! Dong! Dong! Jimmy Ding Dong! Okay, that's pretty awesome. We're not going to go into too much detail on this, of course, because, you know, we've got a lot more to do. So let's start working on Santa's sledge. I want to put that in mid-air. Maybe we can have it, say, where I am now, like by here, and we'll have it sort of... We'll try and make it look like it's in motion. So we're going to have to build up like this, because you can't place a block in mid-air, which can be quite a bit of a pain in the bum-bum. <clears throat> I think that's a great height. So it's probably just going to be the sledge. Um, I don't think I'm going to be able to get some flying animals up here, unfortunately. That's going to be hilarious, though. If I had a bunch of cows on leads, just like... Oh, God, that's going to be silly. Okay, so I don't actually have a plan for this. So we're just going to build randomly. Santa's sledge has probably got a little bit of a lip at the front of it. I'll probably replace this material at some point too and just build in a shape. So that's the lip at the front of the sledge. It's almost got like a boat style to it as well. Away! And then we're going to have to start rising like this. Alright, let's do that. And then back a little bit maybe. 
Yeah, let's just go back. <clears throat> so we got a shape going on here. And then this is going to have to just go straight up. Okay, so this needs to have a curling in sort of feel. For sure. Like that. And then there needs to be a ridge along here. Okay, I'm going to jump cut now, guys. I'm going to come up with something pretty... As close as I can. It's going to be tricky, but uh, I'll be back in just a moment. And we have returned to the British democracy. <laughs> hey guys, okay, we're back. I've got a basic shape here. I've kind of achieved what I'm after. We've got this nice little curve by here. It kind of rises again at the back. Hmm, there's not too much I can actually do. Okay, so let's put the fence along here. Put Santa's perch on here and put some nice cobwebs along the back. Of course, there's so much more I can do with this. I may actually do spend some time working the shape of this after I finish recordings. So don't consider this as a finished build. Not quite yet, anyway. <clears throat> but, I, you know, it kind of upholds the, the shape of a sledge, of course. It, I couldn't really knock it too much. It's definitely there. Let's try a little bit of no, how about no, this no, that kind of takes away from the initial shape what is going on with shaders, it keeps flashing sometimes okay, there we go, that'll, that'll do, let's put Santa's perch on here of course and let's put an NPC up here and he'll probably jump out and commit suicide but never mind <clears throat> okay, this is Santa's perch, we need some chests let's grab Grab a chest here. Okay, so we all know Santa's sack, which in this case is that. Holds many presents, so we don't have to worry about putting too many chests on here, of course. Let's grab ourselves a villager. Villager egg. And boink. Okay, this is going to be our green-eyed Santa. Hey, dude. All right, whatever. He's like, what, 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 what the hell am I doing up here? Uh, uh, a trade, a trade, a trade. <laughs> okay, can we put some? Whoa, quartz here. Not bad. I think that really does suit the the sledge. I mean, it does look like a sledge. Maybe. Okay, so we want to put some of this along the back. And uh, we'll have it so he looks like he's whisked down from here, not actually come out of the the actual uh, Santa's bit by here. He's ferociously trying to leave this place. Ferociously. What type of word is ferocious to use in a situation like this? Santa is not ferocious. He is a kind-hearted soul that just decided one day to sneak into houses where children are. <laughs> Okay, let's do this, and then we'll disconnect a little bit, and then we'll just put a little bit more here, put along here. Okay, let's take a look at this from a distance. Yeah! That's one, you know, he looks like he's speeding down from here. Maybe we'll even trail it off a little bit more. Whoa, falling! Pull it off a little bit more, then we'll disconnect it. Put one here and that. And then a little, little trail. A little, like, not very compact. So it looks like it's breaking up. Okay, let's check this out from the roof of Santa's house. Look at that! Santa, man, you are just flying so fast right now. I've got this vision in my mind of this NPC just falling to his death right there. Okay, there is... He actually did it. What? He doesn't even know what he's doing. Oh, Santa, you are funny. Okay, I think that's pretty much it, guys. Um, I think there's nothing much more I can do for here. We've pretty much covered everything. 
I am very happy with this. I don't think there's much I would change. I would probably change this ever so slightly. I think one more thing would probably be to emphasize the fact that it's a runway. So we can do a little bit of this. I think I've got the dimensions of this wrong. No, don't rain! Don't rain on my parade! Holy smokes! Toggle. Downfall. Let's make it daytime again. We'll put the toggle snow back on. In just a bit. There we go, this is perfect. Maybe we can raise this ever so slightly so it's like a. And then just grab some of these. Like so. Can I? I would like to face that one there. Perfect. Maybe I'm going on a tangent now, I do apologize. Like I said, this is probably not going to be finished quite yet. This is an interesting pattern, right? Eat right there. Maybe. <clears throat> okay, one more thing, and that's going to be it. Ladder. Oh, it needs to be a full quartz block. Let's go with quartz pillar. Perfect. Anyway, guys, I want to say thanks for watching the Santa's Workshop build. It has been my pleasure to entertain you in December. And um, please keep an eye out for more Christmas themed stuff on the channel. There's going to be some competitions soon. I'm going to put a pack together that's got a few games in it. Um, probably put the competition up on my channel um, closer to Christmas Day. But it's going to be an assortment of nice games that I've picked up over the year. And I want to share with you guys. I'll probably put about two or three packs together as well. Um, but there we go. This Santa sledge zooming down through. There's the, the Santa back cave, of course, which is in the wrong proportions and dimensions <laughs> oh man I gotta fix this too okay is it does it go here or does it go it goes here okay one more fix see even around the base of these you can just put some stone you know just so they're tied into the ground a bit more there's so much so much more sort of influence you can put onto this build and it's just one of those things you have to call it quit one day you have to call it finished and you know it's finished there we go that's looking nice so it's been my pleasure to entertain you guys if you want to download this map please check out the link in the description it'll lead you to a I think it's meta file I won't put any ad, ad fly on it or anything I don't even think YouTube likes ad fly but yeah it's been my total pleasure to entertain you and I shall be seeing you soon, so peace out. <laughs>